everyone and now we are going to discuss about our next topic which is position of hydrogen position hydrogen is basically um, you know it is an element which um, is generally seen on the top of group 1a but in actual it possesses characteristics which are common with group 1a group 4a and group 7a how let's see here if we talk about group 1a group 1a uh, hydrogen is a monovalent cation it behaves as a monovalent cation in group 1a secondly it has one valence electron in its outermost shell um, it has a single shell so obviously it's going to have you know one electron in its outermost shell and apart from that if we talk about its capability of forming bond it can form ionic halides it can form ionic halides um, where it acts as a monovalent cation but um, when it comes to the drawbacks drawbacks are such that uh, hydrogen basically acts as a diatomic gas so other from other monovalent cations cannot exist as gas or even as a diatomic diatomic molecule so they cannot either exist as gas or even as their molecules because molecules have the same atoms and lithium sodium potassium they do not have the characteristics of forming molecules rather they have uh, characteristic of forming formula compounds so these are the drawbacks and uh, one more thing that they uh, hydrogen has the capability to gain an electron as well and form monovalent anion so this is a drawback as well now when it comes to group 4 group 7a group, group 7a has um, it has similarities with group 7a such that it can gain an electron to form monovalent anion it can gain an electron to form monovalent anion and uh, it can exist as diatomic gas and it can, it can also exist as gas and exist as diatomic gas and monovalent anion apart from which uh, you know it has the capability to form diatomic molecule but as a gas again monovalent anion again an electron to become monovalent anion it has capability to form ionic halides right so in that sense um, this is the characteristic when it comes to drawbacks drawbacks are in such a manner that here um, hydrogen can also act as monovalent cation which is a drawback for being in group 7a and it can you know lose electron as well and uh, you know it has it can lose electron and it has one electron in its outermost shell one electron in its outermost shell while on the other end side all the halides are having all of the electrons in the outermost shell except one so one less than they opted to so in that sense uh, that really makes them um, unsuitable for it and um, all the other halides are not able to form strong bonds with uh, all the other halides are not able to form strong bonds with oxygen but uh, you know hydrogen can form strong bonds with oxygen that is the drawback as well on the other hand side if you talk about characteristics of group 4a with um, uh, group 4a with hydrogen then group 4a has similarity in such a manner that like all elements of group 4a all elements of group 4a are having hybridized orbitals so in that sense those hybridized orbitals are half filled orbitals which are similar to the high half filled orbitals of hydrogen secondly the hydrogen is having reducing properties extraordinary reducing properties like carbon and uh, thirdly thirdly um, hydrogen is having high reducing properties it is having a half filled orbital and it is having the excellent capability to react with oxygen like other carbon like other um, second group elements so in that sense it is suitable for uh, group 4a as well but again there are drawbacks for group 4a that simul that in all compounds of group 4a the bonds can be formed simultaneously which means group in group 4a carbon silicon can form multiple bonds at the same time but carbon since having a single electron cannot form multiple bonds at the same time secondly 
carbon, silicon, and all other elements in group 4A can form long chains, but hydrogen possesses only one electron due to which it can only form a single um, chain long compound and thus cannot form long chain. And that's when these are the drawbacks, but due to resemblance in uh, with group 1A, partial resemblance with group 1A, and monovalent characteristics, it is uh, generally uh, you know placed at the top of group 1A. Uh, this is the reason all of the elements in group are colored with a specific color, but hydrogen is colored with a completely different color in this periodic table. So that's also the reason hydrogen is different in the periodic table. So that's all about today's video. Hopefully we'll meet in another video.